This Skilled to Work story is sponsored by Northeast Mississippi Community College. The United States Army is another career path folks can take. The military offers incentives, including paying for your education. Recruiters also travel around showing students what they can expect to do if they join. For this week's Skilled to Work, I get to show you what students were able to do at Ripley High School during a recruitment event. Today we're just checking out what the Army is bringing to us. Reach out to students to kind of give them a different uh, point of vantage of what the Army actually does compared to what everybody thinks they do. Staff Sergeant Adam Hill is a recruiter for the U.S. Army. His team had a demonstration event at Ripley High School on Wednesday, one of many at different schools throughout the week. We also bring out our company trailer, which has cornhole boards, uh, inflatable football, inflatable basketball, just something extra for the kids to actually get out and kind of decompress out of the classroom. It shows off more of the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics side of serving in the Army. Sergeant First Class Christina Valerie explained they brought different types of robots to let the kids see firsthand what they do. I even got to take a swing at controlling a robot. Uh, so this is a PackBot 10. PackBot 10, okay, yeah. so what's its, what's its purpose? Uh, so they have a lot of ranges of purpose we use, mainly for if we have a suspected roadside bomber IED. And they can deploy this kind of technology and equipment to go and get a much better kind of visualization of exactly what that threat is before putting themselves directly in harm's way. Oh. You want to use it? Absolutely, please. Okay. <laughs> so this uh, left directional pad right here controls your front arm. Okay. So if you hold up and down, it moves just that front arm up and down. It takes some getting used to, but it's pretty straightforward. Student Makai Castro talked about what he got to do. I learned about the robots, learned how they they go into the field and uh, like deactivate C4s and how they go into areas where like it's hard where people can't get in. Castro says he's considered the military, but he's actually not fully committed because he's just signed in January to play soccer at Itawamba Community College. Sergeant Valerie says she joined the Army 11 years ago. She says her main reasons for joining were to pay for college, to travel, and to meet different people. Staff Sergeant Hill says he wanted a change of scenery and an adventure. I work on helicopters for a living, so it's, it's a blast. And the recruiters say the Army tries to do these events at least once a year. During the week they have these events, they travel to a different school each day.